Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for iOS. Well, I covered some of the basic features of Status Board version 2 in not last week's episode, but the one before, episode 229. So in this week's show, I'm going to complete looking at some of the new panels and the new options for sharing and publishing status boards. So this is status board running on my iPad, and uh, if you look back to the previous episode, you'll see there are two uh, two different boards which I can swipe between. I've also got transitions set up as well to fade between one and the other. Now what I will do is uh, we're going to set up a new board, but before I do that, I'm going to switch off transitions, and we'll come uh, back out, and we'll go in and we'll say edit boards. Now for the other six options, these six options down at the bottom on the right hand side of the uh, panel tools are the six that are provided as part of the optional expansion pack. Now, as I mentioned previously, if you've already bought status board version one, uh, you should be able to restore your purchases and have these uh, available to you. Otherwise it's about £7.99 for these additional panels. But what I will do is, uh, well I won't alter that one, I'll keep that one as well. Let's create a third one. So it's just so between the two at the moment. If I hit the plus, there's a brand new one. Now the first panel we'll take a look at is the photos panel. This is available as part of the optional expansion pack. Um, basically position it as you would normally. You can resize it using the guidelines at the bottom. Uh, you could make it full screen if you wanted, but we'll just leave it at that for now. If I tap in to configure it, you need to specify an album and it will display the first 25 photos in a selected album. I'm just gonna go ahead and select my favorites album. There we go, there's my favorite. So there's the first image. Uh, transitions, so you can change the rate of transition. You can change the effect. So let's have um, a curl down. Okay, and what we will do then is come back out. And then you have the option to scale the photo. So currently it's set to fill, so it will fill that block that I've assigned. Or you could make it fit, so you will get some black space around it. Uh, you can see there in that particular one. Or you can say none. But I'm going to go ahead and say fill, so that should fill the panel quite nicely come out of here and just tap away. So to see the results of the panel, if I tap on the tick, we can now see uh, the photos and every 15 seconds they will transition and we'll see a new photo. Right, let's come back out of here, go back into edit boards. So photos is fairly simplistic. I mean, I could make that take up the entire half of the panel if I wanted. Uh, let's have a look at the next one. Well, the next one is a countdown. Again, another new uh, panel that's available to us. And with the countdown, basically all you do is you specify a day that you want the panel to count down to. So currently it's set to New Year's Day. If I wanted it, say, for uh, my birthday, I could tap on here. I could overtype New Year's Day. I could just put my birthday. And let's say it was on uh, December the 20... Let's say Friday the 18th of December. It's not really my birthday, but that will do. Tap on there. And now I've got a countdown to my birthday. To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14 day no obligation free trial screencasts online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14 day free trial membership. <laughs> 